Such an honor to meet you. Great to meet you. Nice to see you. you. I, uh, you know, I take great pride and kind of ownership in Pixar because it's in my backyard, so I consider it my movie <laughs> studio, by the way. Cool. And uh, this one does not disappoint. Uh, I've been there for almost every theatrical open ever of any Pixar movie since, since they put the late wow. first brick down. Um, oh. And I can tell you now, just move all of those Oscars down just a little bit because there's room for one more, and this will be it, I guarantee you. Oh my wow, gosh. thank you. Yeah. So talk about the yeah. genesis. This story is so unique, and I love what was the very first moment that launched it. Um, well, it's based on a personal story. Like the boys in the movie, uh, my brother and I lost our dad when we were really, really young. We don't remember him uh, at all, uh, but we always wondered how we were like him. And that question began the journey that yeah, was onward. Exactly. It was just kind of talking about personal experiences, and, and Dan started talking about that um, part of his life and, and how he and his brother um, were affected by it and, and how it affected them um, throughout their life. And we, and we thought, okay, there's something there. Um, because, uh, you know, in the best cases, a small personal story can also become a universal story. Sure. So that's what we were going for. Yes, yeah, so I, I lost my dad when I was younger and, and didn't remember that much, but then my older brothers, and there was a little bit of jealousy because they got to know him, and so yeah. I'm always right. looking at him. And so I so related to that, and then my sons are the same ages of these characters, and I'm thinking, how is it that I'm relating to all of these characters <laughs> that are woven into this fantasy world like this so humanely? Well, what's that's been great. interesting is people who don't necessarily have brothers or have uh, or even sisters, people yeah. who have a friend who was there for them, or finding those connections amongst other uh, people has been really cool. Yeah, it's very gratifying. You know, I, I walked out of the, the theater last night and started calling people, and I feel like I may have done it injustice because I'm going, I, I just saw it. It's, it's such a great movie. And they're going, we don't want to be heartbroken. I said, no, you don't understand. This movie is so hopeful. It kind of leaves you explain it, it explains the life passage and what it all means doesn't right. it right yeah. yeah and it's also fun and funny i mean i think there's an adventure to be had throughout the movie and and hopefully people are laughing and having a good time too i mean it's ridiculous it's got unicorns that are eating out of garbage cans so <laughs> right. hopefully it has something for everybody <laughs> and these two nobodies that you get as leads in this this tom holland Chris yeah. Pratt, i think there's hope for them yeah. they've got chops <laughs> they exactly. do is it was so fun working with them they're you know, again, they're who you'd hope they'd be. You know, sure. they're yeah. there themselves. And so, and they're friends in real life. And I think that that comes across the sort of brotherly uh, quality that they have amongst each other. Yeah, absolutely. When we watch now, it's, I'm like, oh, of course. How do, they've always been Tom and Chris. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And how do you, as, as filmmakers, let them lean into that a little bit? Because obviously they've shaped who these guys are in the movie. Yeah. yeah. They, uh, they were only able to record together once, but uh, they really, you know, again, that brotherly quality came up. Uh, Chris improvises a lot, Tom improvises a lot, and yeah. they they had a, a good time together. I think that really helped them shape the characters. For sure. Uh, 10, 20 Pixar movies from now, when you look back to this one, what's going to be the moment that crystallizes it for you? What's the moment, your, your proudest moment, where it checks all the boxes for me it's the end yeah. that i can't talk about sadly yeah, I know. <laughs> uh that's the point of the movie that's the, yeah. the, the 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 reason why we wanted to make it indeed indeed yeah and just the fact that we did um what crystallizes it for me is just again going six years ago when we sat in a in a small room with four white walls and thought could this be a movie and then kind of just to know that, that we did it. And from that, help uh, for, from 330 other people later, <laughs> we managed to do it. And it looks better than we thought it could have. Exactly. Well, in advance, totally. congratulations. Thank you again.